Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that I have been wanting to do, but I was waiting until I had enough um, stuff made to do this video. Or at least stuff made that I actually like. Um, so I'm gonna give you the, <laughs> if you didn't read the title, it's stuff that I've crocheted. And yes, I know how to crochet. I learned how to do this in seventh grade at school actually which is interesting um yeah so I was terrible then I kind of quit for a few years busy with other stuff and high school and stuff and I'm 20 now so I have some things that I have made since I picked this back up about two years ago so I'm gonna get into that stuff. So. Alright, this is one of the pieces that I made when I first picked it back up in like 2020. Um, I made, it's not the best, but it's like a purse. This is like the flap and you have little drawstrings on it so that it stays together and you know it has an inside. I need to still actually put fabric in the inside so that I can put like tiny things in it but for now it is a purse can't see it it's like really cute okay but it was made from a bunch of yarn that I had left over that was really cheap because it's not the prettiest color so that's why I made this because I wasn't sure how it would turn out so I ended up with this Next, I am going to show you one of my favorite things that I have made since picking this hobby back up, and that is this. Alright, he's supposed to be a little octopus, um, like, that's what he's supposed to be, but he kind of looks like a jellyfish, but he has pals with him. All right, we have this one is the next one I completed, which I think is really cute. I changed yarn texture and made this one because I was trying to see if I could make them into like baby what, like baby toys, because I do know a lot of young little kids that are my cousins. So I was trying to make these for like birthdays and stuff, but he didn't turn out the best but I love him still. Next we have one that was some of my favorite leftover yarn and I think this one is beautiful. Beautiful queen. And this is my attempt at leftover jellyfish. Now this one was supposed to be a jellyfish kind of thing. Um, not picture does I made another one for a friend's birthday which was similar to size to this one but it was black and had white um, eyes. So I gave that for someone's birthday. All right, we are going to move into the clothing category. All right, to start off our clothing category, I have this, it does not look like much. It is a very soft yarn that is triple crochet, not triple, double crocheted. Um, it's not the longest scarf, but I like mine a little bit shorter and I will put it on. I wear it like this just cause it is small, but like you can adjust it to however you fit your needs. But since I have such long hair, this, doesn't really help and kind of clashes sometimes but when I do wear a scarf I wear this one. All right staying on the topic of winter clothing mesh um I have this it is a beanie that has a tight knit not knit tight crocheted bottom to it so that it hugs to your head more I will put it on only because my hair looks a mess. Okay. 
so here's what it looks like. It looks a little wonky, I know, but for a hat during the winter, it does the trick. On to my favorite hat that I have made. We have this gorgeous white one with a little ice colored pompon on top. It's the same fabric that the other, not fabric, it's the same yarn that the other hat I just showed you was made from and I thought it looked really cute. It kind of gives the Elsa vibes for winter. <gasps> oh my god, you guys did not see that, but I saw that. I was just moving it around and the pom-pom pieced out. <laughs> this is all just on my floor. <laughs> To make a pom-pom, if you do not know, you have to wrap yarn and then cut it into little pieces. Alright, the angle of the video has changed because my phone stopped recording due to storage. So I had to delete some stuff real quick and now we are going to get into the second part of closing. And this is tops that I have made. So I'm going to try on one of them, but I will show you the other two. So let's, let's start with me showing you and then I will put the one on and we'll be done. This is my favorite color wise, but not structure wise. Um, this is because it's, it's a little flimsy and I did not mean for it to be that it's like tangled. I don't know what the deal is. All right, here's the top and these are the cups. They're really pretty colors. I love them. Oh, it's supposed to be held this way. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is the top. I think it looks really pretty. But like I said, it's a little flimsy, so I need to rework it. Let's go to my second favorite top. This beautiful piece. It is solid pink and the band here is a lot thicker and sturdier than the other one was. I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to be trying on, which is my favorite and one that I plan on wearing out next summer. Sometimes they like tangle up and I have to figure out how to untangle them in the most friendly way possible for them to stay together. <laughs> Cause sometimes no matter how e like how hard you try for this to stay together, sometimes they fall apart after you tug on them. This is this beautiful top. As you can see the ones up heat the straps here are thicker than the other ones and the band down here is very this band is much more thicker than the first one I showed you and it's much more stable. But something unique about this one and it's the one of the reasons I'm gonna try it on is the way that I put these straps. The straps are connected. If I tighten those, they look a little bit better. That was showing you things that I have crocheted over the past two years now. And this is just my favorite stuff. I'm working on a large project at the moment that I will show you all at the end of the year because it is a year long project. But thank you for joining me. If you like this video and you wanna see more, Hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos.